What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of my hardcore survival series. We're back in it with another video and we're gonna slay some mobs in this deep dark night. Oh no. There's so many creepers. Eh. Let's I hope I don't die. Oh no! No, so many creepers. No, don't hurt me. Oh, they're all blowing up now. Luckily, they can't kill me with my full netherite armor. As you saw. Uh, I'll run in my house so they can't get me. Ha ha! I escaped, you fools. Ah! No! I was supposed to die there. Oh, no! I died! Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I'm sorry, I made you all sit through that. So, the point of that was we're just gonna be making a pretty much a perfect door in Minecraft. So that way you don't have to deal with any creepers going through your world and blowing everything up. Like, oh, I turned off mob griefing. But, yeah, the point of that is. I'm gonna be building a door that pretty much helps with all of that, so you don't have to deal with any creeper explosions in your house. So yeah, let's do this. What you need for this build is fairly simple, it's just 11 items, and it's 3 pistons, 4 redstone torches, about a half a stack of redstone dust, just to be safe, 1 slab of your choice, just a stack of regular now to start off this build don't question what's behind the giant bedrock wall you want to start off by going about three blocks down the first thing that you want to do is set up your pistons one block below the where you want to make your door and one block in front of it or is that wait so the first thing you want to do is place your pistons one block in front of where you're building everything and one block above the three blocks that you have already. And you want to make sure they're facing down so that way it doesn't mess up anything later in the build. Mess up anything later in the build. Now once you've done that, you want to set up a redstone line that goes on the pistons and into a little area right here where it goes down one block. And you want to make sure it goes down that one block because that'll be important later on. Next up, what you want to do is place a sticky piston right there and place your block of choice on top of it so that way when it gets powered, when it gets powered, it pushes the block out, cutting off the redstone circuit, which will deactivate the redstone torches that you want to place down next. Or when there. Like this. The next thing that you need to do is place a temporary block on top of the pistons and make sure that the fence gates are facing like this. And then you want to break the temporary block and kind of shows an example of it now that you can't get through with the two blocks. And just to cover it up, you can place whatever carpet you want on top of it so that way it looks nicer so next you want to make sure that you ha have a redstone line leading out of the piston and won't interfere with this redstone torch right here so you want to place a redstone line that goes around the redstone torch 
and where some pressure plates would be so that way it will activate when you step on it because that's what pressure plates do Duh. so after you complete this you can get your pressure plates and step on it and you'll be able to go through and after you finish that you want to set up a redstone line that goes this way but still doesn't connect with this redstone line because you don't want it to be powered because you don't need it on redstone clock because you don't want it to create an infinite loop but you want it make it go up one block and then on top of that block have a button of whatever you want just so that way mobs can't get in so it'll still open it as you can see so say you're getting chased by mobs you want to run in quickly obviously it'll be a straight path so you can get in a lot easier but once you've completed this step you want to get a slab and place it right here just so that way it doesn't cut off the redstone line like that. And then you can cover up everything else with grass. And now you may be thinking once you've covered it all up, well cat cat. What's the point of this? What's the point of what? I didn't do anything. But now, you're pretty much finished. So you're being chased, run in, and it closes. It'll be open for a brief second, but it'll close up behind you when you're done. And it's a working redstone door. Let's see it in action. We have a zombie. And we'll just make a horde of zombies, because why not? And you have a bunch of stuff that you don't want to lose. And you're getting chased by a ton of zombies. No. So you quickly hit the button and walk in. Everything shuts off. And the zombies have no way to get in because of the fence gates that are right there. But as long as you don't do this, you'll be totally fine. Totally fine. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for watching this kind of educational video not really educational but thanks for watching anyway and if you have any other redstone ideas that i could maybe mess around with leave them in the comments and i'll see you next time i'm not getting chased by zombies bye